question 11. Question 11 says, if the initial kinetic energy of an object is 4 joules, and you do plus 8 joules of work on it, what will be the final kinetic energy of the object? Okay. So uh, something is already moving. Kinetic energy is defined as uh, one half mass times velocity squared. Let's write it as Ke. Okay. So the faster it's going, the more kinetic energy it has. So in this case, you have something that's already moving, and it has a kinetic energy of four joules, right? So if you do work on it, work on an object equals to the change in its kinetic energy, which is kinetic final minus kinetic initial. So if I do work on something, such as, let's say, a car, I push the gas pedal, uh, the engine does work on it, and the car accelerates, right? So if I do work on something, I should change its kinetic energy, right? So if I do eight joules of work on it, if its initial kinetic energy is equal to um, four joules, what's going to be the final kinetic energy? Okay, final kinetic energy is 12 joules. Eight plus four, 12 joules. So the answer is C. Okay, so you simply just add them. <clears throat> what if the problem had said, if the initial kinetic energy of an object is four joules and you do negative eight joules of work on it, what will be the final kinetic energy? Okay, well, that's kind of tricky here. What's going to happen? Well, if you do negative eight joules, right, and the kinetic energy final, what's going to happen? Four is going to come over here, four minus eight, you're going to get an answer of negative four. Could you have a negative kinetic energy? That's weird because kinetic energy is half mv squared. To have a negative kinetic energy, the velocity would have to be some imaginary number because we know if you take an imaginary number, you square it, you could get a negative answer, right? So that's just not possible in the real world. So the, you can't have a final kinetic energy that's negative four, okay? So if that was the problem, what it would have done is maybe it would have given you these choices, eight, four, 12, negative four, okay? And zero, we could still actually give you these choices, eight joules, four joules, 12 joules, negative four, zero. And basically what you would put a possible answer is zero. So if something is going at four joules and you do negative eight joules of work on it, that pretty much means you've stopped it, uh, zero joules. It could have different meanings. It could also mean that not only did you stop it, right? So it was going at, it had four joules of energy. You stopped it, uh, okay? So the final uh, energy was uh, uh, zero joules. Not only did you stop it, but actually now you pushed it backward. Well, actually that couldn't be it because if you stop it and you push it forward, now you're doing positive work, you see? So uh, if you stop it, um, you see, when you, by the time you're stopping it, um, you have to do, you basically have to do four joules of work to stop it, right? You have to do four joules of work to stop it. So it would take you negative four joules, we, sh we should say negative four, it would take you negative four joules of work to stop it, right? Because it had a kinetic energy of four joules. Well, where would the other negative four come from? Well, the other negative four, um, it, would, it wouldn't actually exist because if you now push it the other way, after stopping it, if you push it the other way, now actually you're doing positive work, right? So in this sense, actually this is, this is uh, what the choice you should say. If this is the problem, and this should say negative eight, your choices should be eight joules, four, 12, negative four, and actually your choice E should say none of the above. Why none of the above? And then that's gonna be the answer. Why none of the above? Because it's not possible to do negative eight joules of work. If something, has only four joules of kinetic energy, by the time you've already done 
negative four joules of work, the thing has stopped. After stopping it, if you push it backwards, you're now doing positive work on it, right? So it is not possible to do negative eight joules of work on it. So you would have chosen the choice E, none of the above. That's a pretty tricky one, right? But for the regular one, the positive eight, the answer is 12. Okay, thank you.